right, so I'm getting ready to pull the old uh, 289 out of the F100. I built this engine and I guess this truck back when I was in high school with my dad, um, being a 74 year here, uh, it's just got a simple nine inch rear end out back. I chopped a T5 five speed transmission into it and kind of kept with the ratty look. Built this 289 that was in it originally, uh, dropped it back in. Drove it for a while, pulled it out, put it in my 65 Galaxy when I, I got done uh, putting that together. Drove that for a while, drove it all the way to Virginia and back, um, back to Iowa, which is about 1,400 miles one way. And uh, drove it all summer there and put it back in the truck, drove it for a couple of years, and it's finally started to have a little blow by and it's worn out. So I figured we'd make one last video hurrah with it before it was all said and done. So today I want to talk about uh, three ways to find top dead center on an engine and it's really pretty simple to do. Um, the first one here is uh, if you do have a distributor in the car and you're trying to time things up, um, you know it's not necessarily where you just built the engine, you first want to locate where your cylinder number one is. So on this old Ford uh, small block it's up on the passenger side on the front. So you're going to want to trace your plug wire around find where it's located on your distributor cap, um, follow it down to your uh, distributor base, make a mark. So then you can pull off your distributor cap and then you can either bump your ignition and turn your engine over or you can turn it over by hand. And you're going to want to locate your timing mark on your engine and um, you're going to turn your engine around until uh, your timing marks on your harmonic balancer line up with your timing tab or on this particular engine it's cast right in. It's kind of hard to see down there. Um, you can kind of see that pointer. So anyway, um, we can see that my timing marks are coming up and because my uh, distributor is lining up with this spot in particular, we know it's on cylinder one. Now, um, or the engine's on top dead center. Now you can be 180 off, and this is why I mentioned pulling the distributor cap off, because uh, the crank turns twice every one time the camshaft turns. That's just how valve train works. So anyway, you're gonna turn the engine over, and it's, when it comes up to the point where it lines up with cylinder one, you know you're good. Again, it can be 180 off, even though your timing marks on your harmonic balancer line up. Another way that's uh, pretty easy, say you can't see your harmonic balancer or something to that effect, and you still need to know um, where top dead center is on the engine. Again, you still have to locate where cylinder number one is on the engine in particular. It's different on every engine. But you can remove your spark plug, put your thumb over the hole, turn the engine over, and when it goes to blow your thumb off, you know, it's pushing air and building compression, so it's going to be pushing against your thumb and um, blowing air um, around where your thumb is trying to seal the cylinder. That's also uh, where you would know where you're coming up on your top dead center compression stroke of your cylinder one and then you can verify again with your timing marks where your timing marks on your harmonic balancer should be um, coming up to line up with your timing tab. Uh, the final way that um, is the most surefire and uh, it's pretty foolproof is you can again turn the engine over by hand and when on that particular top dead center um, number one cylinder comes up your rockers on that cylinder are not going to be depressed again it's on the compression stroke so no valves are open so as we see here this is cylinder one and you know my rocker arms look loose this is a solid lifter cam so anyway we got our valve lash in there but uh, we can see that these are not um, compressed whatsoever, unlike how we can see on all our other cylinders, our valve train is moving. So um, that's pretty much three pretty simple ways to find top dead center on an engine. So I guess we're going to get to pulling this little small block out of here, overhaul it, and it's probably going to wind up in the galaxy. Um, got a 351 here I got to overhaul which is coming up pretty soon we're gonna go ahead and drop that in the old F100 some good rot staying stuff going on currently the drag radials are being a good light stand and 
we're just checking over that 456 geared rear end make sure it's all um, good and what it's supposed to be and it appears to be so so that was a good buy we lucked out there um, but yeah anyway three ways to find top dead center on a engine